Howdy guys, Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon in Eugene, uh, right off of Highway 99 North. Uh, today I'm going to show you this 2002 Keystone Montana fifth wheel. Um, this is a 30 footer with a, about a 5 foot overhang, so it measures about 35 feet in length. Uh, triple slide, so you'll see nice big slides here and here. Makes it really spacious on the inside, but before we get to that, um, I just want to show you kind of some nice things this has. Um, nice big storage, good access to your um, dump valves there. But again, uh, storage is big for me when I'm going uh, on trips, things like that. So that's a good compartment to have. Um, regular stuff here, satellite, um, your uh, shore, excuse me, your um, city water and tank water, and then your outdoor shower. Um, this particular rig does have uh, dual propane tanks uh, just to keep that fridge going a little bit longer, uh, heat going a little bit longer depending how you're using it, whether you're plugged in or not. Um, what you're looking at there is actually just a uh, manual override for slides. If anything were to happen, you have uh, an easy way to get them in and out if, uh, if a motor were to go. Uh, we never expect that to be a problem, but it's always good to have a backup plan. Um, and then just more storage here. Uh, moving around to the other side. Again, you'll see that second propane tank here, or first, whichever way you're looking at it, in what order, um, and then access to your storage once again. That's just the same one we looked at. Again, here's that third slide for you. Um, and moving on to the inside. I uh, personally really like fifth wheels. To me, they feel very livable. Um, it feels a bit more like a home sometimes than, than an RV can. Um, the woman that we got this from took really good care of it. Um, I think it was under cover for the most part because there's no signs of it being in the rain or under trees, anything like that. Um, no water damage throughout. Uh, what she did update is curtains there, some darker curtains. Um, again, like I was saying with fifth wheels, I really like the homey feel. Um, I mean, you get a ceiling fan, you get a nice tall ceiling. Um, tons and tons and tons of counter space, which is big for me. Um, you know, it's important to Depending who you are, it's a big deal for me just being able to cook. I don't like feeling uh, crammed or just in the kitchen as a whole. I like to have things on the counter when I'm not moving. Um, standard three burner stove. Um, this one, this model does have an oven in it. So you have your regular oven and microwave here. Nice little feature. It's got the knife holes there to keep your knives in. Then your standard sink there. But good storage throughout this whole thing. And the nice part about getting this L-shaped uh, countertop you get a ton of storage all throughout so good luck filling all those up if you can do it bravo if you can't even better you got extra storage uh here we have our two-way fridge so that'll run on propane plugged in or uh on your generator there so no reason to not keep that cold and then pantry style here with sliding drawers nice feature and then back here, you'll see just your kind of lounge area, as I would always refer to it as. Um, definitely room for a second recliner if that's something you wanted to do. If it's just yourself or you only need one, even better. You got plenty of space, nice little coffee table. That's the place to have your coffee um, if you uh, do it the way I do it, but to each their own. Um, here we had uh, the previous owner had uh, brought in their own couch. Um, I like it. I don't expect you to like what I like, but that's an easy fix. If you wanted something different there, it's an easy pull in, pull out. We can just get rid of that or you can keep it. It is a nice little couch. Um, moving to the dining room here, you'll see there is an easy seating for four. A lot of the time they, uh, they seat four and I do air quotes because they don't actually seat four. There's four chairs, but you know, in this case you can actually have four people sitting here without completely bumping elbows and uh, being comfortable. Again, uh, fairly standard stuff here, but lots of lots of storage throughout. Nice glass work. The wood's in really great shape. There's no signs of really any fading, anything like that. It looks just like it came from the shop. Uh, and then a spot for a stereo there, or a very narrow TV, I guess. But I think that's for your stereo. And you know, just, you know, craftsmanship on these are really good. Um, more cabinetry overhead. And then here is kind of what I always call like a winter closet when you're coming in. Place to keep your jackets, things like that. And just more storage down below. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, no, <coughs> no shortage of storage in a, in a fifth wheel like this. Um, here's a spot for your TV to go. Um, this is the little one they had. Obviously, you could fit a much bigger TV. And a uh, nice thing about TVs is they keep getting cheaper. 
um, and this is an easy deal for us. So if you wanted something oversized, you just let us know and we'll make that work for you. Um, if you're not big into TV, you can utilize that space however you'd like. Um, but moving on into the bedroom, or before we get there, this was always my favorite thing as a kid. I was a weird little kid, but I loved having access to the under storage there because I, again, I was a weird little kid. I like rock climbing in, in places like that, but that was one of my favorite things about fifth wheels. Um, moving into the bedroom, first thing you notice is uh, the bathroom is all here. Um, shower is a great size shower. Um, I always get in, I call it armpit test. I gotta make sure I can get my armpits without hitting my hand on the ceiling. That is the case. Plenty big, lots of room. I mean, if, if you're a bath person, you could bathe. I, I don't take baths, so I can't speak to that, but it is set up for baths. It does have the, the uh, bath faucet there. And then here is your commode. You know, not just as big as it needs to be. Um, you know, you're not going to bump your knees on the on the wall, anything like that. It does its job. In this closet, we have what could be used as just storage, or what you'll see here is it's plumbed for a washer dryer combo, or even has room for a stackable. So that's an option um, if that's something you're interested in. If not, it's a great storage area. And then moving into the uh, bedroom here, we have a walk around bed with a good sized closet. Um, another spot for a TV if that's something that's important to you and uh, nice little built-ins here for your clothing those are nice and deep there and then about as deep as you can get on a on a rig like this so six cabinets there plenty of room for your uh, pants socks things like that and then another great thing about fifth wheels is closet space never a shortage of closet space I'll uh, open the other side so you can see the depth of it but this goes all the way back this way you have some shelving in here um, a nice thing to hang things from here and then another top there so you can really fill it up as I said on this side you can see it goes all the way to the back you know it's just as big of a closet as most people have at home so you can definitely bring everything with you um, this nice little gap here makes it a lot easier to make the bed than one that's a corner bed and you also have access to, uh, to your closet there um, this rig has pocket doors as well, pardon me, Ooh. for any privacy you might want in the bedroom, we got the two sliding pocket doors, and uh, it really does, it makes it feel enclosed, if you wanted to take a look at that, Ben, if you want to go on in, just kind of, it's a whole different feel in that room, these doors close, welcome to your private bedroom. Voila. And um, you know, if, if you if you're familiar with these fifth wheels at all, you'll know that Keystone does a really good job. That's why they're still around, still making a lot of them, still selling a lot of them. Um, the insulation packages are these are great. Um, you got these nice solid walls here, and uh, a lot of insulation on the flooring, on the roof. It's going to be easy to stay warm or stay cool depending what climate you're in. But no, it's a, it's a great rig. Um, we haven't had it long. I don't expect we will have it long. But if this is something you're looking to do, whether you're pulling it around or you're going to be in a park, whatever you want to do, it's going to get the job done just right. Um, no issues with this rig that, that we know of. Anything that there could come up, we, we take care of. So you're dealing with good people and you got a good rig here. So if you have any questions on this rig, go ahead and just uh, give me a call. Phone number is probably down here or right up there. Uh, again, my name is Robbie. Um, go ahead and ask for me and I'll get you the best deal that I can. And uh, thanks for checking out the video.